Perivasharanam, Experiences with His Holiness, narrated by Shri Matham Assistants, compiled by T.S. Kodandarama Sharma. Bhogi Shri Kannayan narrates three incidents. When he was 10 years old, one Shri Kannayan came along with his father to Shri Matham Vyasa Puja held at Tuvarankuruchi in the year 1940. His father Kunju was then the Bedda Bogi, head of the bogis who carried Paramacharya's palanquin. From that day until this date when the use of Mena palanquin has stopped, the memories of Kannayan who had linked himself to Sri Matham are sweet. The interest he had towards Mahaswamigal and the compassion Mahaswamigal had for the bogies were very deep. Now on, let us listen to what Kannayan says about his experiences. A grandfather was bogi to Mahapiryavanga's guru and Paramaguru. From that time, we have been serving as the head of the Mena carriers. Mahapiryavanga had abundant love for us. He used to call me Kunjumavan or Bidda Bogi. There were six Menas in the Matham. The Karnataka Pallak was used only for Patna Pravesham going round the city. It would look like a cradle. There were two separate palanquins, one for the day and one for the night. The mena would look like a box. Bogies used to come from Chidambaram, Mayavaram, Mannargudi and Kattu Mannargudi. We came from the Udayar Palayam Zameen. Once we lift the mena, we would walk for 6 kilometers. In order to not feel the burden and the strain of walking, we would speak aloud the names of Kanji Kamakshi, Madurai Meenakshi slowly. Our pace was that of a bicycle. Another group would be ready at the 6th kilometer where we would change shoulders. Then we would go ahead in a cart and wait for the next trip. There were eight people to carry the mena, four on the front side and four on the back. Generally, our trips would be from 7 to 10 o'clock in the night. When we go for our meals, Mahapiryavanga would wait for us sitting. When we returned, he would inquire if we had our meals properly. In those days, the daily bata allowance of a bogi was six anas. Apart from that, they would give us a hundred kalams measure, each of paddy from the kuravai and samba harvest. This arrangement was in place until 1963. The first incident. Once, when Bhakta Vatsalam was the chief minister, we started on our trip at three in the morning from Pulacheri on the eastern side of Tanjai. The camp was arranged at Kalayar Kovil at a distance of 75 kilometers. When we reached there, Mahaperiyavanga ordered that hot water be ready for our bath. He said, Pavam, the shoulders of the bogies would ache. From the place where we stopped, Swamigal's camp was at a distance of one kilometer. He said he would go on foot and started on. From there, we started at three in the afternoon and went to Shivaganga. Once we reached there, we were given rest for two days. He ordered Ivalukku Romba Shramam. It would be very difficult for these people. Serve them meals with Vada and Payasam. As he speaks these words, Karnayan's eyes turned red with emotion. It was around 9 o'clock in the morning one day. Vedapuri Shastri was serving Swamigal. At that time, Swamigal was doing Achamanam, Sankalpam and then Japam. Some people from the town came to see him. Vedapuri told them, Periyava is doing Japam. You can't see him now. So they left. 
when periyavanga opened his eyes he asked where are those people from the town they are gone said vedapuri did they come to see you or me i was beside them at that time periyavanga said they would be standing in the bus stand bring them i ran and told them the news they were very happy they came rushing and had darshan and left when they desired to give some money as offered to the matam periyavanga asked them to do something for the bogies he was so affectionate towards us the second incident it would be some 40 years ago periyavanga was doing tapas inside the mena on the banks of kollidam darkness had already set in the manager came and slowly slided the door of the palanquin swamigal was not to be found inside it happened so suddenly after 2 minutes somewhere from the darkness came periyavanga asking what the matter was you people did not see maha swamigal getting out of the mena god that is what we do not know the door remains closed third incident my remembrance is that it was in 1985 86 there was a bhai a muslim brother who was doing the business of selling kailis lungi a dhoti like wear commonly worn by muslims he was the all india proprietor for the shangamark kaili lungi firm he came in the queue to have darshan of periyavanga when his turn came periyavanga asked me to wrap a shawl around him the kaili proprietor was in ecstasy his heart melted with the words allah allah periyavasharana